4th of July. But I stopped and I rode and I'm not parked in, uh, I guess that's almost 2,000 miles. But I was just curious. So I had all sorts of one example. He talks about the Civil War in total disparity in terms of the rampage. There's no rampage. Hundreds of thousands of young men risk their lives to defeat slavery and march to a battle song that said, as Christ died to make men holy, let us die to make men free. It's only after 1890 or to let us live. But up to 1890, the marching song of the Union Army was, as Christ died to make men holy, let us die to make men free. And these are the people that Biden and his left-wing fanatics do contempt. And it makes me, frankly, so angry as an American to see these anti-Americans. I, I, you know, they're not liberals. They're anti-Americans. And I'm not going to use liberal over again. They're anti-Americans. Uh, they would like to see this country destroyed and replaced by a magic kingdom in which they would have total power and everything would be terrific because we'd all have to say exactly what they wanted. Well, I, I, look, everyone would argue that Okay, there's never, uh, Barry Farber, I keep saying his quote, that we've never been a country in the history of man that's accumulated more power, abused it less, and I add, and has used its, its power and its liberty and its freedom and its constitutional republic to advance the human condition worldwide. You know, then that leads us to the history of beating back uh, evil forces of fascism and communism and Nazism and imperial Japan. You know, 100 million human souls destroyed in the last century, but for the United States, uh, God knows how much higher that number would be. Well, you know, the, the tragedy is that Ronald Reagan defeated communism in Moscow, but lost to communism in the American school system, and that then infected the American news media and the American bureaucracies. Uh, and the result has been you have three generations of brainwashing, and you have people who don't know anything. Well, what they do know is just plain wrong. Uh, this, this country. You know, when, so apparently they, they took down a statue of Frederick Douglass. Now, Frederick Douglass was the greatest black orator of the 19th century, the leading advocate of freedom and the end of slavery in the 19th century. I know what possible rationale, except insanity, could a group go and take down his statue? But this is the kind of nihilist, ignorant, barbaric behavior that we have to expect from these people. And candidly, the only answer is to lock them up. We, we ended the 2,500 bombings in the late 60s. We ended the Black Panther campaign to kill police in the late 60s. And we did it by a simple method. If we, if we knew you were part of that, you went to jail. You went to jail long enough that you figured out by the time you get out that was over. Uh, sooner or later, we're going to have you talking about those people. You know, I was actually pleasantly surprised, and I, and I don't think enough people understand or make a distinction between Black Lives Matter, the group, and, and there are peaceful protests, rightly outraged over what happened to George Floyd, that uh, say Black Lives Matter, but that's not the group. The group is the one on tape saying, what do we want that drops, when do we want them now, and pigs in a blanket and crying like bacon. The Atlanta mayor, um, uh, Bottoms, actually blasted Black Lives Matter. There was an eight-year-old little girl that was shot dead at one of the protest sites and in a very impassioned press conference, your old hometown, uh, literally in a full-throated call for citizens to stop, quote, shooting each other up in our streets and uh, it has to stop, she said. You can't blame this on police officers. It's about people who shot a baby in a car and we're, we're doing each other more harm than any officer on this force. That kind of surprised me. Hi.
cannot be intimidated. And that means, I think, that we also have to put pressure on every local mayor. I loved it when the mayor of Chicago, and when Trump said, you got to do something, she said, he needs to learn that there are a bunch of tough women mayors out here. And I thought to myself, great, why don't you go to the south side of Chicago? And How about we stop the carnage? Because 79 people were shot, Mr. Speaker, 15 killed over this weekend, and that's as predictable as any weekend. Uh, stay right there. Uh, former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, his new book is phenomenal. It's called Trump and the American Future. Uh, we'll come back, ask him how this impacts 2020, which is a way. If you like privacy, and you want to make sure every email, every text you send and receive, every website you go to is protected and secure, every Wi-Fi is protected, then you need what is the entire connected, connected protection of Norton 360. It keeps spies out. It keeps prying eyes out. And with Norton 360, you get real-time protection against existing and emerging threats. And can put your personal information at risk, including device security. A virtual private network, they use bank-grade encryption. That keeps all of your information, all of your text messages, all of your emails, logins, passwords, secure and private, especially when you're on Wi-Fi, even so-called protected and secure Wi-Fi. You get a password manager that easily and securely creates, stores, manages passwords, credit card information, and all the other credentials. Look, right now, through July the 19th, on top of their low annual rate, and it's very inexpensive, you'll get an additional 60% off your first year. If you believe in privacy, you're going to need Norton 360. Just go to Norton.com slash Hannity, Norton.com slash Hannity, and save an additional 60% today. Stories and inspiration. 